in video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you a new feature that can be used with 3D models such as this very basic sphere. Now what you can do and this is to reduce the number of triangles, reduce obviously complexity for printing etc but it can also be used for just creating some interesting design shapes in Photoshop. I mean, not, I'm certain quite everyone uses it for 3D models, but it can be used for other resources as well. Maybe like uh, unusual brush strokes or pattern designs. Create some very abstract designs just by using this 3D feature. Now, you can now, just from this shape, instead of creating a new 3D shape, you can actually just go to 3D and simplify meshes. Just like that. And it will just build up this mesh. You can see these overlays. You can see it's quite complex. Original size, it's got, it's quite large. So you can actually reduce it down. You can drag this down. Now, personally, I find this little uh, the slider not very useful once you get reasonably low. Obviously, it's just get down there. You can see all them. It still looks pretty spherical for most purposes. Now, you can, of course, just select the field there and say, Set it to 30, make it really, and then you get this really unusual sort of uh, design, which you can then, of course, modify even more. You can actually, or you can go the other way, you can say 50, so it's not so, and so on and so on. Click OK. And of course, then you can work for, with that design as a 3D model, or you can do what I often do is just go layer and flatten image, yes, and then you've got that design. Of course, maybe make a better job of the lighting than I have here. Well, I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.